Hi guys, welcome to Rocket Engineering. So we know that how a liquid fuel rocket looks like. Of course we know. What about world's first liquid rocket? Currently on the screen you can see it is the world's first liquid fuel rocket. Yeah, it's pretty weird, but it was the initiative of modern rocketry and what today we are because of these innovations. If we look into history, in earlier time rockets mostly used for the purpose of war. Chinese emperor had that technology of solid propellant rocket and it was kind of firecrackers, you know, but it was very inefficient, not that good for the war. Then in 90s, Robert S. Goddard came up with the idea of making a liquid fueled rocket. Robert Goddard is also known as the father of modern rocketry. He was an American engineer, physicist and who successfully launched the chemical rocket. On March 16, 1926, Goddard launched his first rocket from Massachusetts, America. He called the rocket Nell. It was operated by liquid oxygen as oxidizer and gasoline as fuel. Gasoline is basically crude oil or petroleum. However, it was a short flight of only 2.5 seconds and reached at a height of 12 meter and went 56 meter horizontally from the launch pad. Though it looked like one of the worst flight but at the time it was revolutionary. It was the huge achievement in the human history. But how did Goddard got the idea of making this rocket? So he got inspired from Konstantin Solvosky. So who was he? So basically he was a Russian school teacher who was interested in rocket science and he was an engineer and came up with the initial design of the pressure rocket and looks like kind of modern and which has that aerodynamic nose cone design and you can see over here but these designs didn't came into existence but the Nell rocket which was made by the Robert S. Goddard came into existence and made a really good flight which was revolutionaries so what are the technical details of Nell rocket now let's try to understand the working of Nell rocket via this diagram so this is the structure called launch tower or launch frame to provide a structural support to the rocket and this is known as the main body or the main rocket height was 3 meter and the time of flight was 2.5 seconds now let's label this diagram so over here you can see this is the liquid oxygen cylinder which is connected through the pipe and that pipe goes directly into the cork float valve and there was separate pipe line for gasoline and liquid oxygen respectively and you can see over here this is the main engine where propellant will burn and this is the needle valves used to regulate the flow of liquid oxygen and the gasoline you can see over here and these all combine together and ignite with the igniter and this combustion happens now that's it for today's video if you liked or learned something new please consider subscribing to my channel and that's it thanks all formalities like share subscribe whatever